The first patent for 3D printing was filed by Dr. Hideo Kadama for his development of a rapid prototyping technique in which polymer layers were stacked and hardened by UV light. This led to three major 3D technology developments. In 1986, Chuck Hull invented a solid imaging process known as stereolithography. It was Carl Deckard who invented the selective laser centering method in 1987. And then, in 1989, the husband and wife team of Scott and Lisa Crump invented the fuse deposition modeling method of 3D printing. The 1990s saw 3D printing technology continue to develop with techniques like selective laser melting, where metals are melted and then formed into solid three-dimensional parts. Medical researchers started to envision ways to combine the practice of medicine and 3D printing. During the 2000s, medical researchers saw their dreams come true when the first working 3D printed kidney was created in 2000, and in 2008, the first 3D printed prosthetic limb was created. 3D printing is the most accessible it's ever been. Check your local public library or even your school to see whether they have 3D printing services available. Well, hi, Tyler. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Yes, you're welcome. So what is your official title and your job responsibilities? So I'm a product development engineer at Ford Motor Company, um, and I work with autonomous vehicles, which are self-driving vehicles. So then explain these 3D models. With autonomous driving, there's a lot of different sensors. We're allowed to print these sensors, really test our design, see if they work. If it breaks, you know, it's a $100 part compared to $10,000. So it really helps us in the prototype phase to really see where our design's at, how can we improve it without spending all the money on physical testing these really expensive parts. So what would you say is the most enjoyable part of your job? Really because it's all new, nobody looks at your ideas and says, you know, that, that's wrong, you can't do that. It's really, well, prove it. Can it work? And again, going back to the 3D printing, I can see these designs in my hand and work with them and come up with crazy ideas that will end up with a self-driving vehicle. So for students who might be interested in getting into engineering or getting into a field that involves 3D printing, what is your advice? 3D printing, especially at colleges now, even high schools are bringing in 3D printers. You can buy them at Home Depot now to get to make little tiny you know, toys. Go ahead and do that. Um, really understanding how it works at a young age will help you later on. What a great experience. We just saw how the same skills you're going to use in today's 3D printing lab can be applied in the real world.